and welcome to AW Tech Tips. My name is Chrissy Spurlock and today I'm going to teach you how to use keying through an Ascender 48 4K PL. Before we get started, let's talk about the term key. The term key refers to the electronic process where you can superimpose a video image over another source or background by first removing a portion of the original image. Color Killer, a standard color keyer that removes pixels with a specific color value defined by the user. Luma Killer, a keyer that removes pixels with a specific luminance value regardless of color. And Chromat, an advanced feature for keying developed by Analog Way that performs advanced effects on transparency items, smooth edge, and color correction. Let's check in with the ascender and see how this works. To show the example of keying, I have a key source here with a moving lower third on a chroma key background. My goal is to kill the chroma key green and critique the tolerance so that I can see my nice moving lower third with absolutely no chroma green. Here in my WebRCS, I want to choose the Setup tab, Inputs tab, and my correct input. Then I click on the keying button and here are my options. Off, Color Killer, Luma Killer, and Chromat. The Invert button allows you to choose to invert the actual keying using this button. Let's go ahead and choose Color Killer. Here, I can either manually set my hue values, luminance values, and kill color values by selecting these parameters here, or I can use the Assistant. To set my parameters manually, I would choose my color by clicking on the Import from RGB Color button and choosing my options here. Then, I would adjust my hue and luminance values here. To set my parameters using the Assistant, I would first click Enable Assistant, then Reset. I can freeze my images here. Now I am going to move my finder around to add the specific area I want to kill. I can also adjust the size of my finder by holding down Shift and clicking. You may also add multiple areas to kill using this function. Once I choose Add Area, my key has been activated. If I wish to use Luma keying, I would use these parameters the same way except kill my Luma color. Let's go ahead and click this button. You will notice most parameters are the same, except there are a few more. I would also suggest using the Assistant when you are using Chromat. When you do so, maneuver the finder to the area you wish to kill and choose Add Area. Now, use the red and blue mask button here to help you find any mixing pixels. At this point, with the mask enabled, you should have only red and blue pixels on your live image. Now you can use edge smoothing to add areas of transparency. Adjusting the HSL values will display gray pixels around the edge of your live content. These pixels will later be rendered semi-transparent. Now use the color correction ratio parameter if you see key color reflections around clothing or hairs. Be careful using this setting as it can adjust skin tone. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments box below. I'll see you here next time on AW Tech Tips.